This afternoon, Jiu Jitsu Mania has the privilege of sitting here with a living legend, Jean Jacques Machado. Uh, Jean Jacques has won just about every title there is to win in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu from 1982 to 92. He just won about everything there was to win in Brazil, I believe. He was Abu Dhabi champion in 1999. Uh, he is a nephew of Carlos Gracie. Uh, he has done so much to benefit the sport. He is one of the early adopters along with his brothers and uh, distant cousins in the Gracie family. They were making jiu-jitsu happen in the 1980s and early 90s in the United States when nobody even knew what jiu-jitsu was. So we just came off on Saturday at the Mundials out of Long Beach. It was a fantastic tournament. So how satisfying is it to you to see something that you suffered through the hard times with now blossom into this entire industry? I think with the lessons that we have on the mat, um, in terms of um, when we say suffering, in a way it's like a, it's a sacrifice. I mean, everything in life you have to sacrifice something to improve in other areas. Uh, in our time, the sacrifice we had was a lot harder today for people from that, that time. It was a lot harder to have a Jiu Jitsu school have students not knowing what Jiu Jitsu was, or Brazilian Jiu Jitsu was, or even Grace Jiu Jitsu was. Uh, it was basically us going to door to door to a lot of schools, showing what we know, how important that would be for any other side to incorporate the ground fight. We see everybody smiling, great reception, but after one training, Everybody kind of, uh, I don't know, they felt a little threatening because of the simplicity of what we show, what we've done. And they just felt like, oh, I might lose my business to these guys. And our idea was just to show that they need more than what they just had. They knew they stand up fantastic, but every time they go to the ground, it's a new beginning for them. At that time for us, it was very hard because of to get students, because you have to show in uh, almost every class you will have to end up in a confrontation with the students to show him how effective and how real what you have was. And going on the last weekend and see the world and see thousands of people competing, thousands of people knowing what jiu-jitsu was, hundreds and hundreds of Brazilian jiu-jitsu schools in America thousands of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu schools around the world and we knew that 20 years ago nobody ever heard about it. Myself, every day with my brothers and for no doubt to the Grace family, the cousins, if it wasn't for that hard beginning, with a good sacrifice in a way, I don't think we have what we have today. Um, a lot of people don't know the history from back 20 something years ago. A lot of people had no idea about the history 40 years ago. Growing up uh, in the family, growing up knowing Jiu Jitsu as a kid, as a way of having fun and suddenly become a way of life for you. You're making so many new friends and very few enemies, which you later on understand and become your friends. It worked. If we had to do it all over again, no doubt. We do it with a smile on our face and to see the results we see today, and uh, we know one thing for sure, Jiu Jitsu will not stop growing anytime soon. And this is just the beginning, just the beginning. So with your years of experience, and again, you've seen the sport evolve, I mean, from its basic roots in self-defense to the sport tournament Jiu Jitsu that we witnessed over the weekend. So, and there's so many, you know, young guys getting into it and old guys getting into it. Um, what advice and, and what do you share with your new students? I mean, because jiu-jitsu is not, it's not a project, it's a process. It takes a long time. What do you, how do you encourage a white belt to stay on the road and let them know what's involved in becoming a black belt? Is a, jiu-jitsu is a long process, is a commitment. Um, I think if you want to see a good lawyer, you ask him how many years, or how many different courses he's done to be the lawyer that he is, a doctor in any profession. Jiu-Jitsu is no different. You need to go and spend time on the mat. You need to be put in bad positions. 
after a while those bad positions will become normal positions, common positions, won't be that bad anymore. But it's a commitment. You have to spend a few years dedicating yourself, training, and I think the benefit in that, doing Jiu-Jitsu is, a lot of people will feel the need of improving more in their physique. Um, a lot of people will change some of the habits they have. Not like bad habits, just maybe it wasn't the best thing for them. And now they discover a new thing that it's improving in their health in general. And Jiu-Jitsu do that to you. You feel the need to exercise more, you feel the need of eating more because you don't want to get sick, you want to go and train more, and you end up learning that eating some of this food here will make good for you and end up changing for that food which will help you, give you more energy. Uh, you feel the need to create new healthy habits, exercising. Um, and for sure, at the moment you start, and we do that a lot here, believe on yourself. You can make anything happen. And the, the students knew that they don't train to get a belt. They train to improve. The belt is a recognition of that dedication, that improvement they have. None of my students ever train, I want to be a black belt. No, they train and I want to be good in jiu-jitsu. And down the road, jiu-jitsu becomes very good for them. And they end up changing in a way of uh, believing so much on them and everything else around them improved. It is for people that is outside jiu-jitsu, they might not understand that until they start practicing jiu-jitsu. It's something that's very addictive. Um, I think the environment of the school, the sport itself, will, will help you so much. I'm saying Jiu-Jitsu because that's what I, I do. I don't do any karate or other styles. I believe in every martial arts style. You have a lot of good things to get there and use in your life outside the dojo. Great. And Jiu-Jitsu is no different. And, uh, We'll be seeing good results every single day. Well, John Jacques, I thank you so much. It's been an honor and a privilege to speak to you this afternoon. Thank you for sharing your time with Jiu Jitsu Mania and the, our audience. And uh, we're all committed to making Jiu Jitsu grow and grow and have so many more people be benefited by the work that you and your cousins built the foundation of. Thank you so much. Thank you.